In this lesson, we'll learn how to create next and previous links for our collection pages in Webflow. So let's get started. We'll be using the CMS Next Preview Power Up. I'll leave the link to it in the description below. Let's copy the code for it and we'll head over to our template page and we'll paste it in the before closing body tag section here and save. The only required attribute we need is to define our component, which is a div that's gonna hold our collection list and an optional no results div. So we'll go ahead and copy this name and we'll give it a value of component. I'm gonna use this div right here that holds our collection list and no results div. I'm gonna give it the attribute name of TR CMS item element and a value of component. So inside this, we have a collection list with all of our items. Um, it's gonna remove all the items except the one following the page that we're on. So it'll show only the up next item. And to do that, we need to make sure there's a link block inside of our CMS items and that link is set to go to the collection page for that item. So if there's no next item in the list, we have an option for an optional no results message. That div should be set to display none by default and it will only be shown if there's no next item. To do that, we need to give it the attribute name of no result. So we'll select that div right here, give the attribute and the value will be no dash result. And that should show up if there's no next result. So this is the page we're on, this is the next one, and that's matching this image here, so that's working. This next image is matching here, that's working great. And then if we click one more time, there's no next item in the list, so we get the journey complete screen. Now there's options to customize our component even more, and one of those options is to set loop to true. In that case, instead of seeing this journey complete, we would see the first item in the list again. So to do that, we would select our component, we would add an optional setting, and we'd set loop to true, and let's test it. So now when we're on the last collection page in the list, this section shows a CTA for the first item. Let's add in another collection list for our previous links. We'll set the link to pull from the collection page, and then we need to define our component. So we're not gonna use any sort of no results div in this case, and the component can be any parent of the collection list. So we'll make our entire collection wrapper the component in this case. So I'll give it the attribute and the value of component. And then by default, this is gonna show only the up next item. If we wanna show the previous item instead, we have an optional setting for that. And we can show previous item instead of next item. We just need to set that to true. So we'll add into our component an extra setting of show prev item true. And then let's publish and try it out. So we're on the first item, so there's no previous item to show in this case. When we head over to the second item, we get a previous item card. Now the collection wrapper is still there, there's just no items inside of it. If we want to remove the collection wrapper entirely when there's no items, we can remove the component when it's empty. So to do that, we just select our component and add this setting of hide empty and apply true for the value. When there's no previous item, the component is completely gone. And when there is a previous item, the component is added in. We can also apply loop true, just like we can do for next items. And we just apply that to the component and I'll apply loop true here. And with that set, when there's no previous item, it's just gonna show us the last item in our list. For this last collection, we'll do something a little bit different. We'll still make our wrapper the component. So we'll copy this attribute and we'll give it the value of component on this collection wrapper. Instead of only showing the next or previous item, we want to show all items inside this list and it will give them combo classes of is prev, is current, and is next. So we'll go ahead and apply an optional setting to our component of show all true. Now we can style these items however we'd like. We could maybe set all the items to display none except the next current and brief. And we can even show individual elements inside of those next previous items like maybe forward or backwards arrows. For now, I'm just gonna set all the items to a really small scale. And then whichever one has the combo class of is current will turn all the way up to a scale of one. And then let's say whatever has the combo of is uh, brief We'll make that a scale somewhere in between of something like 0.75. And we'll do the exact same thing for the is next. We'll make the scale on that one something like 0.75. So our current item is scaled all the way up. And if we look at this, our previous and our next items are scaled a little bit higher and all other items are really small. So that really wraps up how to create these next and previous links inside Webflow.